Hello, my loves. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome in to this video for the solar shift into Sagittarius. So first things first, if you are new, hi, welcome in. It is wonderful to have you here. What we're going to be doing is talking a little bit about astrology, and then we are going to be using our own astrology, learning about it, and then tapping into the spiritual tools of the Oracle cards to get guidance on how to best utilize our personal astrology during this season. So. If this is your first time here, you may want to go watch my tutorial video on how to get the most out of these readings. It is not necessary, but it's a tool there for you if you want to know how to engage with this material in a deeper way. For those who are not new, hello, welcome back. It is so wonderful to have you guys here. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's a pleasure for me to offer this support in this way. It brings me so much joy and I hope you guys all know how much I truly love you, care for you, and I'm excited for your journeys. If you want to support me, there's many ways you can do that. Just engage with this material. Share it with people you think it will align with. You can also comment on it and let me know what is resonating for you, what questions you have. You can also donate if you feel inspired at paypal.me slash devotedvulnerable, link is in the description. And you can go to my website, devotedandvulnerable.com slash services, link is in the description, if you want to learn more about the services that I offer. I offer card readings, I offer guided meditations, I offer a bunch of different other things, so go there and check it out if you feel called, no pressure. With all that being said, let's jump into Sagittarius season. I'm so excited to bring this energy to you guys. Sagittarius is my favorite sign. I am totally biased. I am a Sagittarian sun. I'm a, Sagitt I'm a Mercury Sagittarius. I'm a Saturn Sagittarius and I'm a Uranus Sagittarius. So I am quite Sagittarian in my astrological makeup. Don't worry if that didn't make sense to you. Basically, I have a lot of Sag energy. So let's talk about what a solar season is. A solar season is when the sun, the spotlight of our solar system, is in a particular sign. The solar season of Sagittarius will start on November 22nd when the sun moves into the sign of Sagittarius and it will last until December 21st, until the solstice, when the sun will then move into the sign of Capricorn. So during this solar month, and I will refer to this as the month as we go through these readings. So please understand when I say this month, I do mean solar month, November 22nd to December 21st. We're going to be focusing on the Sagittarian energy, the Sagittarian archetype. So your readings are going to be based on where Sagittarius shows up for you in your chart. Essentially what planets, the sun, the moon, and or your rising sign exist in the sign of Sagittarius. Now, if you do not know what planets and aspects you have in the sign of Sagittarius, do not worry. This is part of what we do here in these readings. We learn about our astrology. To get caught up with your own astrology, to get access to your own chart, to know how to read it and find out what planets are in this sign, watch my tutorial video. I have this tutorial video created for how to find your birth chart information on astro.com. It, link is popping up here and it is also in the description if you want to go and enter in your birth data to that site. And you do need to know your birth time in order to access this information. So go ahead and watch my how to find, how to find your birth time tutorial to get caught up on how to find your birth time so that you have something to work with with the chart generator. So we're going to be spotlighting the sign of Sagittarius by finding out what planet, the sun, the moon, and or the rising sign is in Sagittarius. You will watch the readings and the explanations for every single planet that you have in Sagittarius. So for example, I mentioned that my sun's in Sagittarius, so is my Mercury, so is my Saturn, and so is my Uranus. So technically I have four readings this month because I have four planets in the sign of Sagittarius. I know that might be a lot of information for you, but this is when the sun, the spotlight of our galaxy is really highlighting these elements and aspects of your life. So it's really fun to dive into how this is showing up in your life, how this archetype may be expressing itself through you, through the planets. I'll describe in each video 
what the planet in the sign of Sagittarius really means before I dive into the reading and the advice. If you do not have your sun, the moon, your rising sign, or any of the planets in the sign of Sagittarius, there's a video for you called Background Sagittarius. I'll explain in that video what that means, but you can watch that video if you don't have any of those aspects. So a little bit more about Sagittarius. You want to look at your Sagittarian suns for this entire month as well. Watch how they shine. Watch how they act during this time. So anyone with a birthday between November 22nd and December 21st, I call it spying on the solar sign, so that you can really learn more about this energy. The Sagittarian archetype is the archetype of the archer. And the archer has this bow and arrow that it's aiming. And what is it aiming at? It's aiming at anything it wants to, but the thing that Sagittarius loves to aim at the most is truth. We love to aim at truth. Truth is one of our favorite things to aim at. It is essentially the energy of this archer and or centaur. So we can be adventurous. The Sagittarian sign is adventurous, congenial, which means likable, dreamy, very, very idealistic, very, very focused on what it is that we are wanting in our lives. We are optimistic. We're always looking at the positive side of things and we are intellectual. So I say we because yes, I am in the Sagittarian archetype, but this is going to show up somewhere in your life as well. So it refers to you as well, no matter where it shows up in your chart. So the modality of the Sagittarius, meaning the way that this energy expresses, is through the modality of what's called mutable. You see the little arch with the dot underneath it up there. And that's the symbol for mutable. Mutable signs are always the signs that happen during a change in seasons. So in the Northern Hemisphere, Sagittarius happens between the change from fall to winter. It's not quite winter yet, and fall's kind of wrapping down, winding down. And so the energy of the Sagittarius is very changeable, mutable, very adaptable. It's constantly shifting. The element of the Sagittarius is fire. It's represented here by the triangle. The triangle is the flame going up towards the sky. And so the element of fire represents the spiritual world, the spiritual realm. So when we put those two together, we have this changing spirituality. That is a lot of the essence of the Sagittarian archetype. Not only are we focused on truth, you have to be a seeker of knowledge in order to gain this truth. Through adventure and experience, we learn in our lives. And so it's this ever-changing spiritual nature of the Sagittarian archetype that we're going to be exploring and spotlighting for this entire solar month. I created a little explanation page here for you guys to show you a few different elements of the Sagittarian archetype. So you see here the symbol represented by the arrow. Next to it, we have, of course, the archetype, the archer. The planet that rules Sagittarius is the planet of Jupiter. Jupiter is all about expansion. It's all about luck. It's all about making things big and bright and energy. So the Jupiter energy is this amazing hugeness in our galaxy, in the story of the Zodiac. And so it rules the Sagittarian sign because they're so very similar in their energies. The key word for Sagittarius is idealize. I would also say that the key word is truth. You can see here the constellation of Sagittarius. And again, we have the element of fire represented by the triangle, the modality of mutable, that changeable energy represented by the half circle and the dot, and the house of Sagittarius. So each zodiac sign represents or rules a house. So they go in the order of the zodiac story. So Aries is the first sign in the zodiac story, so it represents the first house. Sagittarius is the ninth sign in the zodiac story, so it rules and represents the ninth house. You can think of the planet 
as the what of your zodiac story, the sign as the how, how that what expresses, and the house as the where. So the where of the ninth house is very Sagittarian in energy. It is all about learning, travel, adventure, spirituality. It can deal with mental health. It can deal with higher learning. That is where the energy of the ninth house represents and shows up in our lives. Now more about the houses will come through in my moon readings. The new one in Sagittarius happens a day after this solar shift. So after you watch these videos, you definitely are going to want to watch the new moon in Sagittarius video where we are going to be focusing on the house energies where this new moon is showing up for us in our lives and the advice that's coming through for the lunar phase of Sagittarius, which is going to start one day after the solar phase. All right. So for this reading, we are going to be consulting the Isis Oracle by Alana Fairchild. And if readings aren't your thing, please feel free just to watch the explanation of your energy and let yourself play with how that expresses throughout your solar month. But we can also use the cards to get more insight in how to really capitalize on this energy. The Isis Oracle wanted us to focus on freedom this solar phase. So freedom is a huge theme of the Sagittarian archetype. I haven't really talked about it yet, but it deals with this expansion. In order to be free, you have to be able to expand. In order to expand, you have to be able to be free. If you're confined, you're not able to expand and you're not free. So we're going to focus on how to get ourselves to open up to a more free way of living. That is what the Isis Oracle really wants to bring to us for this solar season of Sagittarius. So in order to focus on this freedom, the Isis Oracle is going to bring us this little poem, this little affirmation to say throughout our solar phase to really activate within us this free expression that we are looking to embody during the Sagittarian season. This is a very, very powerful deck, and I am excited to share the medicine, the power, and the beauty, and the wisdom that this deck has to offer. We have covered everything that we're going to cover here in this explanation video, and we're going to dive into our individual readings. So this video is for you if Mars was in the sign of Sagittarius when you were born. If you are already familiar with the Mars in Sagittarius energy, then you can scroll ahead to the reading. So the Mars energy in the Zodiac story represents our action and reactions. I like to also think of it as the masculine energy, the giving, the doing energy of our vibration. So you act and react through the archetype of the archer, through the Sagittarian energy, this mutable fire, this adaptable spirituality. Your actions and reactions are adventurous, congenial, idealistic, optimistic, and intellectual in nature. So Mars and Sagittarius loves an adventure, is probably quick to pick up and go. Mars and Sagittarius is also very much going for knowledge, seeking knowledge, um, acting with the goal of, a of a attaining knowledge. Your reactions might be optimistic. Like you might be somebody who reacts to something with optimism, be like, oh, I can see the benefits of this. I can see why this is happening. I can see the good things that may be coming out of this. You might be quick to react that way. You might also be very idealistic. You might be quick to react with idealism, a little bit similar to the optimism. You're congenial. So you might also react in a way that is friendly and is open and loving. Very interesting here, this Mars and Sagittarius energy. Mars is a very fiery energy and 
Sagittarius is a fire sign, so this is a comfortable place for Mars to be. And as always, whenever we're talking about a planet and a sign, we're really only looking at a breadcrumb of the astrological cake that is you. So keep in mind that you may or may not resonate with the truth of this or with the generality of this that I'm offering. So you can always get a chart reading uh, from any astrologer. I do offer chart readings as well to learn more about this aspect of your chart and why it may not be showing up through the general aspects that we're talking about here. Okay, but play with this, this solar phase. Notice how you act and react and how it relates to the Sagittarian energy and archetype. Let's see what advice is here from the goddess oracle for you. If you haven't already taken a few deep breaths, call in your spiritual support team and opened your heart to receive the guidance that's most aligned for you, I invite you to do that at this time. So Mars in Sagittarius. Whoa, hello. Okay, they just wanted to be mixed up because four cards came out. You do not have four cards, I promise, Mars and Sag. Here we are. Ooh. Truth unveiled. Truths unveiled. The revelation of Isis. Ooh. So to gain freedom in your action and reaction, we are calling upon this solar phase, the truth of Isis. Let me read to you what her little explanation is, and then we'll go to her affirmation. There are times when appearances of people, place, and things are truly deceptive. You will sense this when something feels uncomfortable within you, when you notice feelings of anxiety or doubt within you. You may think there is something wrong with you, but actually you are intuitively sensing that all is not as it appears to be. It is wise to trust your inner feelings rather than being convicted, rather than being convinced by outward appearances. There is a situation in your life now, especially involving relationships, where something is not as it is being made out to be. To avoid undue suffering later on, Isis guides you to truth and revelation now. Okay, so first things first, before we read the affirmation to help us with this truth unveiled. Yeah, I hate getting messages like this. So I feel you if you're resisting this, but it's also a great blessing to know that there is something that you are blind to and just to open your heart to receiving truth. Right, You can only be free when you are being able to see things as they truly are, seeing people as they truly are. She's kind of calling out a person or a relationship that's showing up for you that's not true to what it appears to be. Remember, the Sagittarian Archer is aiming at truth. We're only aiming at your freedom here. Your freedom lies in this understanding, in this truth being unveiled to you so that you can move forward in your life with clarity, with freedom and with surety so that your actions and reactions can be based on a true understanding of your situation. Here's the affirmation to write down for you, my Mars and Sagittarius. Please, please, please work with this in a strong way, the solar phase, however that means to you. But I would say to write this affirmation down and repeat it in the morning and at night. Three times, really, because there's something that you're not seeing and you, and you could use a lot of support right now. OK, but again, Whatever feels right to you, please do. But this is so important to freeing you in your actions and reactions to having freedom within your life to move forward. You need this truth to be unveiled. Okay, here we go. And if you're on YouTube, you can turn the captions on so that you can read what I'm saying. But I would just pause every few words here to write it down. Gift me with your vision now. End the distortion or the vow that blocks the eye within my brow. I receive the knowing clear without doubt, shame, or fear. Lies and deception disappear. Revelation of Isis 
Come to me swift. Thank you for the sight, the truth, the gift. Confusion into clarity, I now do shift. Yeah, wow. Okay, my beautiful Mars in Sagittarius, I'm sending you so much love. I know that this awareness will come to you, this solar phase. I know working with this affirmation, working with the energy of Isis or whomever is responsible for the vibration of truth within your own tradition, you can call upon that energy if that feels more aligned to you. Definitely uh, only do what feels aligned for you here for this process. And let me know how this is resonating with you. Let me know um, how it is that I can support you through this. And know, again, that this is a gift. This knowledge, this awareness, this truth being unveiled will help you to move forward in a clear way. Mars is your action and reaction. It should also be noted that Mars is in retrograde right now. Yes, 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 let's talk about this. Mars is retrograde in the sign of Gemini, which is opposite the sign of Sagittarius on the zodiac wheel here. So this makes a lot of sense. So. Mars retrograde means it looks like it's moving backwards in the sky from our perspective on Earth, meaning it's a time when something's in review. So your actions and reactions are in review right now. It won't go direct, which means it'll stop and it'll start moving forward. It won't do that until January and it won't be back in the sky in the same place it was before it started moving backwards until March. So we're really in this review period when it comes to our actions and reactions until March. So with the spotlight of the Sagittarius spotlighting your actions and reactions now, with your actions and reactions, the planet being in retrograde right now, you are being asked to review, to unveil these truths, to look at what it is that you're not seeing so that when you do move forward, January and March, um, you are really informed and clear about your momentum moving forward. Comment, let me know if you have questions. Let me know how I can support you through this. And as always, namaste. The universal light within me salutes and honors the universal light within you. Namaste.